From under the Golden Dome in Charleston, this is the West Virginia Capitol Report. Welcome back to the Capitol Report as we continue our broadcast from Racine, Boone County. Again, it's Labor Day across the great state of West Virginia and we're very pleased to be joined by a good friend, uh, Sam Petsong, a Democrat candidate for the Office of Attorney General of the state of West Virginia. And uh, uh, Sam, welcome to the Capitol Report Show. Thank you very much, Bill. It's good to be here. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Sam. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's just start uh, in general. Again, uh, running for a constitutional uh, office uh, requires you to be a statewide candidate. Uh, and maybe just to open it up, uh, if you could... Uh, uh, tell the people a little bit about uh, who's Sam Petsong and uh, you know what uh, what do you have in mind here, my friend? Well, I'll tell you exactly. I originally come from Morgantown and uh, I've lived just about everywhere across the state. Uh, I've, I've never had the good fortune to live in the eastern panhandle, uh, out in the panhandle country, uh, but, I've, but I've lived in uh, Charleston. I, I got, uh, uh, after college, I did the AmeriCorps service program in Wyoming County and got my start uh, working in the coal fields there uh, on community development, uh, on advocating for coal miners in black lung cases. Uh, uh, right out of school, it was very clear to me that our a lot of miners were losing their retirement health insurance. Our health plans are breaking down, and the federal black lung program provides lifetime health benefits to people. So ever since uh, uh, probably about 2006, when I when I moved to Mullins, uh, I've been dedicated and working a great deal on uh, black lung and health care benefits for uh, for our working people. And and that's not just coal miners, but all factory workers. You know. Uh, Bankruptcies have hit a lot of our communities, and so I've dedicated my law practice uh, to serving those folks. I also had a good chance to work for Senator Byrd for a little over three years in Washington, D.C., and I couldn't have asked for a better mentor uh, in that department. Working for Senator Byrd, I learned a lot about uh, how to build a new coal-fired generating plant. Senator Byrd was a great champion of defending and, and strengthening our industries, and we've got to do that. Uh, Lord knows we've been struggling. We need a, a new industrial policy in this state and I've been able to learn about how to execute on those issues in my career. I'm glad to tell you anything more about, you know, I live in Fayette County uh, and I've lived off and on in Fayette County over the years and I've got a wife, a two-year-old boy and another one on the way. So I can tell you about that and I know we've been struggling. I've also represented people in the school system trying to improve our, our public education system. Uh, that's the kind of statewide issue-based advocacy that our Attorney General has to provide to us. He's the chief lawyer for the people of West Virginia. No doubt about it. It's so that's about me, Bill. I don't know. That's an earful. You tell me uh, what you want to hear. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a real good start. And uh, again, uh, you know, you're, you're running against an incumbent. He's been there a couple of terms. Uh, you know, uh, again, uh, I think people... Part of the campaign process is to differentiate yourself from uh, from your opponent, uh, and uh, maybe you can uh, just offer up uh, some examples from from your perspective, things that uh, Sam Petsong would do as Attorney General to be, as the state's uh, head lawyer. Okay, well, I tell you, right now I'm involved in representing miners who lost, actually miners in Fayette County, who lost a month's worth of wages uh, th from the Black Jewel Company. Uh, those guys were really done dirty. And you know what? Our state attorney general and our state uh, division of labor had, uh, had been there for those guys. They might not have lost out on that money. Uh, we have a wage bond law in West Virginia. They've whittled away at it over the years, but we still have a wage and hour law and a wage bond law that, that should be there to protect our workers and uh, our people can't afford to lose their wages and benefits. They've worked for them, they've earned them, and I would make that a top priority as Attorney General. Where's our Attorney General been on those issues, buddy? I hate to say it, but uh, you know we've got a lot of people who are hurting right now in our county and across the state because our Attorney General and our state leadership haven't been protecting our working people. That's what I do in my legal career, and that's what I would do if I were Attorney General. Sam, how, how do you view a uh, Attorney General ship under Sam versus Patrick Morrissey. Well, uh, Patrick Morrissey has been out there attacking uh, the Medicaid program. We've got over 160,000 people in this state who would lose their health insurance from Medicaid if that program were repealed. And the Medicaid expansion program is what I'm referring to. 
And not only do we have families who can't afford to lose that health insurance, but our rural health clinics, we have a great rural health clinic system in, in uh, Fayette County and across our state. Those clinics rely on Medicaid and on Medicaid expansion. Our hospitals, think of all the people that work in hospitals across this state. We can't afford to lose that source of health insurance. And I would protect that health insurance. I don't understand why our Attorney General is out there trying to attack that source of income for our doctors, our nurses, our, uh, you know, our, uh, all the staff that works throughout our clinics and our hospitals. It's essential to our communities and I would protect that. Sam, uh, again, unfortunately, our time's running out, but one, one other important question. Uh, uh, opioid addiction in West Virginia it really has uh, just hammered our communities. Uh, you know, you look at uh, the impact and effect uh, pharmaceutical industry has had uh, in rural areas throughout the state of West Virginia. Very, very difficult, and it appears to me, at least nationwide, there's some very positive signs as far as litigation going forward to try to bring back uh, some compensation for the real, literally the wrecking ball that's uh, rolled through our communities for the past 10 plus years. Uh, uh, you know, as the Attorney General of the state of West Virginia, how serious do you view this problem? Have you given a little bit of thought about what the Attorney General can do to try to bring some resolution to this problem? I've given a lot of thought to it, Bill, because I see it. I see it in our families. I see it in my own uh, community, and I see it in my law practice. So there's three things I focus on there. We need to be strategic in litigating against the manufacturers and the distributors, all of the responsible parties in the pharmaceutical industry. And we need to get all of our state and local governments on the same page so that we have high-impact litigation and bring in that big-ticket funding to support treatment and recovery. That's the first thing, smarter, strategic, big ticket litigation. And I've done that in my law practice. I've recovered millions of dollars in judgments on behalf of hundreds of coal miners from across Fayette County and all over the state. So we need to do that. But we also need to help people in long-term recovery and we need to be smarter about ensuring that the workers' compensation system provides physical therapy and doesn't leave people with opioids when they don't want them and don't need them. So I've done a lot of work on that issue and I'm glad you asked about it. You bet. Well. Again, uh, unfortunately, our time has expired, but uh, Dave and I really thank you for taking time out to join us here today on the Capitol Report, and good luck to you going forward uh, in your candidacy for election uh, uh, to the Attorney General of the State of West Virginia, and good luck to you, my friend. Thank you very much, Bill. Okay. Good luck to you, Sam. Again, Sam Petsong, Democrat candidate for election to the Office of Attorney General of the State of West Virginia. We're going to go ahead and take a break and be right back to Racine and Boone County. So stay with us, everybody. Stay tuned. The West Virginia Capital Report will be right back 